Good morning, all the Christmas members. Well, I'm back. I was absent for like a couple of days. My mom is back in the hospital again for the kidney. Yesterday I went to visit her and she told me that she really wanted mashed potatoes with um, chicken potatoes yeah. or meatball. Chicken potato meatball. So that's what I'm going to make for her right now. And I told her in the fact that of um, onions, you see, the becoming caramelized, the beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying what have you all been cooking. Let me know. So now, uh, this is the pot we're going to be cooking. Okay. In a minute, we're going to transfer the onions again. Gonna put the knife back. Next, we cut the chicken tenders. We're gonna grind them. I never, ever, ever. Not that I think there's anything wrong with the people. The jewel actually buy them, but I personally, I don't. I never did. I'm a kind of kind, like a skinny type of human being. I need to see how everything is made with my own two eyes. So, I'm finishing up the onion right now, and I'm going to place it in the pot. You see it there? Like scissors, look. Now you see that onion all brown. So, now in a minute, I'll put some water on it, make it evil. I'm going to go get the bread from the oven. I actually have them on hand. See them, see? They are Amazon. It's gonna be so good. Okay. So let's go to it. We need to run this. I'm going to place them in here. The onions are complete and we're going to place them in here. It's the processing part. Okay. Put it like this. Okay. This is... Alright guys, my face looks a little full because I have migraines so I have to get Botox as it's going to be first and I swelled up my face a little. Sorry about that. Um, very fast, you see?
Wash our hands. Oh, guys, so yesterday I was at the hospital with my mom. And there was this girl there. And she had a stuttering problem. And she was trying to explain to the security guard where she needed to go. And every time she tried to explain herself, she was stuttering more because she was getting nervous. Because it was one of her family members that was in the hospital. Needless to say, the uh, security guard grew reckless with her. He said, get to the point, where do you need to go? I couldn't help it, I stopped and I'm like, excuse me. She has a stuttering problem. She has problems expressing her words, especially when she's stressed. So if you don't mind, be respectful. And the girl was so grateful. She's like, thank you, nobody ever stands up for people like us. I'm like, listen, what do you mean people like us? Listen, I have epilepsy, but that doesn't stop my life. I still work, I still go to college, I still am a mom. You know, I uh, still am a wife. I still am a daughter who is with her mom every day that she runs to the gym, then I run to college, I mean to work, then I run to college, then I pick up my daughter, I mean my husband picks her up, but the point is, is I make time for my daughter every day no matter what, no matter how I feel good or bad, my daughter never knows. How mom's having a hard time. It's hard to do, but it is very important to show your children that they're not a burden. Because what happens is in psychology, um, there is, since I'm a psychology major, I talk a lot about the psychological aspects and, and, and with the binder aspect. Um, I talk a lot about children and how our behavior gets effect, affects them. So children, when they see that they're being neglected, they do something that's, that's called this um, cry of wolf routine. What does that mean? The cry of wolf routine is observing your environment seeing who is getting paid attention to the most from your other family members by your child. And what is the reason they're having this attention? Once the children encodes this information into their minds, they, de they then therefore start analyzing how they could use them for their benefit and their attention. This is called the cry of wolf scenario, where my child or the learned helplessness. For instance, my child the other day fell and said, oh, mommy, I need a band-aid. And I personally saw her lean on the floor and bang her knee on purpose. And I told her, I said, Miki, her name is Mikaela. We call her Miki at home. Uh, I said, Miki, that didn't hurt you. We did that on purpose. No, you don't have me. That is the number one thing children say to get your attention. No, you don't love me. Where I come from, I have no idea. But that I have a ketchup or a little bit of tartness. Why do they say that? Because it's like you're not letting them get the attention that they observed other people are getting because they're not feeling well. So you're not allowing your child to do it. So automatically they're like, oh, you don't love me. This is why you don't let me express that I have this pain. But it's not the pain they have. 
is the need for attention that they have, that they're crying out for. So I came up to her, I kissed her boo-boo, supposedly on her knee, I said, Mama, you still love me? And that broke my heart. Because I've noticed that I'm so much into the rhythm of, okay, hospital, school, formica, um, home, um, college, work, gym, Mika. And that regular routine that I had with her where we just lay low and just relax at home is nowhere around anymore. It's always busy, 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 doing something, 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 always, always, always. And she's catching on. She's catching on, and this is becoming a little bit not good. So... What I had, I'm gonna add some rice that I cooked yesterday. What I had to do the other day, I did not go to my mom for the first time, which broke my heart. I felt like such a bad daughter. Holy moly, you guys, I felt like such a bad daughter that I didn't go to my mother. But my husband told me, he's like, you're also a mom. You have a sister that also takes days off from your mom. It's okay if you don't go one day. I understood him. I heard him. And um, spent a beautiful time with my daughter and my husband, of course. We had a great time as a family. And um, But then, guess what in the evening I did? I said to my husband, baby. Listen, you guys leave her with daddy. Let's go to mom. My heart will be full if I know I visited my mom. That I did this. Like, you know, I did this deed. I, I didn't skip a day. For me, it's heartbreaking not to see mom. Because I know there is a lot of people that are without moms. And the condition my mother has... You know, it's really bad, and who knows how long she has. So the amount of time I could spend with her is what matters the most to me. And needless to say, at 10 o'clock, he drove me to Cornell. Um, even though visiting hours are closed at 9, my mom is staying in an isolated area because she has um, pneumonia. So they're letting her, like, they're keeping her isolated. Um, so we're allowed to go in of course I had to fight with the security guards because downstairs they don't care what law applies they just know 9 o'clock no visiting hours well we wound up going see it's a meatball yum let's go you hear the sizzle that's what we want the sizzle okay so I came, mom is like, oh, you're here. I thought nobody's going to come to visit me. My God. Let me tell you guys. That was heartbreaking to hear. I'm like, mommy, how could you say that? It's just I had the first day of college. And, and um, I had work. And Anthony, my husband, came home from work. He did some overtime, you know, as a trained mechanic. And, um. I said, and I, you know, I had to stay with Mika a little bit, my daughter, um, so that she doesn't feel neglected. And now she's asleep, daddy's with her, my father, and uh, I could visit you, mommy. And she's like, oh, it's so good to see, you know, it felt like, like, she relies on that so much. To know that she's needed. And as soon as I came, you would think she would sit and talk to me. No, she started doing things in her private room. So, like, she went, she started cleaning the table. I'm like, Ma, don't get up, I'll do it. No, 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 I want to do it. And my husband, like, Mom, please don't get up. Like, we'll do it. No, 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 you sit. And she started to 
uh, give us the food that they served her, you know, like all the, um, you know, whatever they're serving them, whatever is left, like, like the drinks or the food cup. Take this home, take this home. She started prepping it for us. Like, that's an old fashioned one, you know. Nowadays, you don't really have stuff. Um, and that just, guys, that warmed my heart that my husband was so kind enough after such a long day of work and housework because this man does everything. Not only does he work, he does house chores as well. He He's wonderful. Um, he He's just and overall, as one of his bosses in the MTA said, jack of all trades. And the fact that I was able to spend about an hour and a half with my mom out there, what it was at 9.45, spent till close to 11 with her, then hit the tunnel to head back to Brooklyn from 68th Street in Manhattan. That's where Cornell is. Um, got home, my daughter was already asleep. I took a lap in their bath and also headed to sleep, knowing that tomorrow morning is a 4 a.m. wake up. As always, routine matters a lot because it keeps you on your toes, keeps you going, keeps you occupied. You know, and so that was that. I'm gonna show you the meatballs now because they're done. It's funny, my story is done. I saw the meatball. I mean, by placing them, they're not cooked yet. you them now and then we're gonna cover them with ice water okay going to be cooking. Let me close them. I'll close them up and I'll come back to you guys in a couple of hours to show you what they look like. Okay, for now I'm gonna mess the potatoes because they are done. Potatoes are done hundred percent. This lid is super hot, but I'm a champ. Potatoes. Now you feel it. Facial. Okay. bit of milk goes along with it's 
Potato masher. I know a lot of people. Get on them. I know a lot of people buy the um, powder, which I cannot stand. It doesn't even taste good. But a lot of people do it because we have no time for anything. I have one potato went overboard. After I finish this, what I'm going to do is continue cooking them for another 15 minutes because um, they need to become soft now instead, so we don't early. It's hard to match them now. It's okay. See? They're all falling overboard. Anyways, guys, you heard about my day. I'm not going to keep you. I love you guys. Please share and like this video. Please subscribe. Don't go away from me. Let's add you guys on and eliminate you. I love you. Bless your days.